Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to episode three of Production Line. So I believe when we left off, we were um, uh, rebuilding these uh, window thingies, right? To try to get our cars through a little faster? Seems likely. And yeah, there we are. So fit roof takes four minutes. Why have I not doubled up on that one? Seems like that's probably gonna be our next thing to double up on, although we don't quite have enough room to do it. I would have to move a lot of stuff around. Maybe rent out this space. It does seem like we're making a, a profit now because we had like 300 something thousand dollars at the end of the, or the beginning of the episode when I loaded the game up. It seems like we have a lot more than that now. Let's turn up that speed. So like we put in the, we put in the new window thingy and uh, the cars are not backing up anymore. What's going on there? Is it just because we moved them close enough to where they're now not backing up? But if we put in, if we double down on the fit roof thing here, we definitely could um, get more cars going through, right? Although, again, I, I just don't have any space to put it in. Um, I don't know how much it would cost us to rent that space, but we need to we would need to research the ability to rent additional stuff or, or to, to uh, expand their space anyways, so. Yeah, it does seem like a, it was a waste of, um, so weird. Like they were backing up here, right? Like I'm not crazy. That's what was going on at the end of the last episode. I, there's no way I would have doubled up on them if that wasn't what was going on. Hmm. Oh well. Weird stuff. Cruise control become more common than before. Not really backing up anywhere else, right? It's all running pretty smooth. Down through all of these. Backing up down here a little bit. I'm not sure which of these is backing it up. Probably, uh, well that only takes one minute, so that's not it. Four minutes and 18 seconds for that one. Two minutes there. Five minutes at QC, so it's QC. It's backing it up. I could always uh, double up on quality control. Research complete entertainment. Oh, and that's. Do I have more projects set up? And car music. Okay. Seems like that'd be a pretty early technology that you would research. But, you know, maybe this is some weird alternative universe where. People don't listen to the radio all that often. Uh, heaters have become more common than before. We are not keeping up on all these research features. I guess it's not really awful or anything, but I, I kind of wanted to branch off into researching something else. Oh boy, and we are not keeping up on profitability either. Didn't we have $400,000 not too long ago? I feel like... I was talking about how we had four hundred thousand dollars. Now all of a sudden we have two hundred, barely two hundred thousand dollars. The money is dropping fast, and we're gonna have a loan payment here. There you go, dropping me down to. So these cars are not selling as well. Let's go ahead and put in those things. Um, let's look at our. Uh, We would need to, do you need to research to be able to do like a mid-range car or something like that? I mean, you must have to. Um, nothing we can do here, right? Yeah. Computerized sales, expedite, expedited sales, I don't really know what that stuff means. Um, so... What am I doing wrong here? I'm looking at the wrong window. There we go. Shoot, if we don't have much of a markup, we are not going to be really uh, making that much more money. i got to leave it at a 5% markup. We've got to be making some profit on these cars. Alright, we have no research going on now. So, I feel like we need to research marketing or not marketing how would we research the better like 
better cars. Um, right? Like, I want to go to a uh, intermediate model as opposed to the compact model. Sedan, uh-huh. Nothing I can do there. Create new model. So how do I get a new price category? Yeah, I... That's what I don't understand. Hmm. Well, we'll call this something simple, like the sampler. Um, because it's a very simple model, it doesn't have any of those things. Not quite sure how to go about creating those. Um, I'm going to slow the speed down here. Because I still want to figure out how to research the uh, different price types. Administration, marketing, body design. So maybe it's under marketing? Yeah, that's all manufacturing. I don't need to worry about that. Power plants, research center. All right, I guess let's, let's go for marketing see what happens. No, 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 I don't need to do that. Uh, hold, why are you clicking on that? Hmm. And that's all about getting imports in and so forth, which is not really relevant to, uh, to what we're doing here. But, yeah, we definitely need to turn around our lack of profitability. Like, that's no good. Is there anything that we haven't discovered yet? Heater. We need to discover that. Won't take very long. Oh, we don't have cruise controller power steering. So we'll want to get those before too long as well. Alright, we'll go ahead and go close those off. Great. Okay. $180,000 still. So we're kind of treading water financially. And I could still try to double up on our QC to get cars out marginally faster, but all that would really do would be to just like clear the little bit of a backlog that we had. And uh, adding in this gap here to slow the cars down from getting up here seems to be... Oh, no, nope, we did have one car that went up there to the, uh, to the other fit window thing, so I guess it wasn't all in vain. Get a 10% efficiency increase or something like that one out of ten cars are gonna go up to the uh, go up to the other one it's not really much of a I'm not excited about that uh, modest increase I wonder how it's gonna go about deciding whether to add those features or not to the cars which may or may not um, have them you know what I mean like I've got that one model that that doesn't, although the uh, sampler doesn't seem to be showing up anywhere. A little confused by how that works. If I go to here and we look at the sampler, archive this model, create this model, yeah, those things are Huh. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I guess I would have to produce it on a line that doesn't have the the features or anything. I know that's how it would have worked the way the game worked previously. But I don't know if things have changed subsequently. Our financial situation isn't the best. But it's not like not quite the end of the world. 
can't take out any more loans. We've got a while yet before we're gonna have these loans paid off. I mean, they're making progress for sure, but making progress is not the same as actually getting somewhere, so. Backlog is about to extend past the Fit Horn section. We aren't really archiving any cars. Ah, good. So we're getting back up closer to $300,000. So the um, profitability is is slowly boosting back up. Um, I guess since we're not able to get... I'd have to duplicate the fit roof area and the quality control area to get more cars through. Uh, here we've got marketing coming online. Got to find out what that's going to do for us. Shouldn't have any facilities open yet. Yeah, marketing department. Yeah, kind of curious to see what that's going to do for me. And then of course here's the uh, stuff to make components for my cars. Too early to worry about that. Supply stockpile. Yeah, still don't know if those work or not. Haven't tried them out in this alpha. I know there was some problems with them in the previous alphas. It's a long time ago. Turned out it was Alpha 111 was the last time we played this game. I was looking back through some of my old series and I saw that one. Three hundred and seventy thousand, three hundred ninety thousand. So funny how we didn't really do much anything other than uh, introduce some new features. But our cars are selling much more quickly now. Still don't seem to be getting any samplers out the door. or even having them available as an actual car. Oh, okay, so the sedan and the sampler, so those both fit into the same thing, I guess. All right, I don't know then. We'll have marketing here soon, be able to take a closer look. Oh boy, and we're dropping back down to closer to $300,000. So every time we think that we're getting ahead of ourselves financially, uh, things drop drop back down. And car music. Well, we have in car music. Nice try, rival companies. You can't defeat me. Is that a uh, like a sunroof there? I didn't realize I had introduced sunroofs to as like a feature. Oh yeah, sunroof right there. Very cool. Unless you want to stay, unless you literally want to stay cool, because actually those are pretty warm. The sun shining down on you, and you're trying to trying to drive. It's not like a convertible where you get the wind blowing help keep you cool. Of course, a convertible is very loud and uh, also uh, um, no air conditioning or very inefficient air conditioning. Take it out for a drive at night, blast the heaters. It's always fun to do with a convertible. All right, so there's our marketing department. We don't really have the money to put into it, but we will. I guess we could go broke, right? What's the worst that could happen? We have to stop playing. Um, so let's, oh, hello? Uh, let's go ahead and put uh, put down that marketing department. And, and what does that do? Marketing, oh, more research, huh? I see. Well, good thing I researched that. So I guess it does not open up the, doesn't open up that stuff. And our money is draining away very quickly. I might have to, well, I don't know what our, our marketing wages are. Science wages are costing us some money. I think I need to drop the uh, price on that, recoup some of our money, because they are not selling 
Come on, cars. That, that, uh, huge, uh, you know, that's, that's bad financially. No, come on. We cannot afford that. Start selling some cars. Shit. Let me get rid of that one, too. I don't like having to tear those out, but... You know, we need uh, we need to be making a profit here, not losing money. Our cars are not moving at all. We're not researching, so I'm not going to be able to put any money into marketing either. Just got a bunch of cars like s s filling up our showroom. Don't really know what all this means. Um. Uh, I don't want to lose money on selling these cars. Weird. Can we not sell them at 0% markup? Do I have to take a negative markup? Like, that I can't do that. Like I'm losing money selling these cars. There's no way I'm gonna make a profit doing that. And they're piling up in my stock room. I have to be able to make a profit on them. Maybe it's just one of those weird fluctuations where the cars back up into your stock room a little bit. It used to do that with the old version of it too. I mean, it seems like they're slowly selling through. We had 14 or something at one point. Now they're kind of kind of selling. Well, uh, the money is so up and down in this. All right, um, let's put in some research again. I don't know what I've got us researching, but we need to research the uh, some sort of marketing. Otherwise, what's the point of having marketing? There we go. Let's research print marketing. It's going to take a long time because we cut our market our research team down considerably. But I, you know, I had to save a little bit of money off of that. Plus, we got a refund for selling those things back, so it kept us from going bankrupt. I don't like how close we got to going bankrupt there. I'm really surprised at how tight our finances are here. Yeah, look at those drops. Like, boom. Huge, uh, just huge drops there. Uh, these are all fun. Why the prices are so all over the map with those things? And like our budget cars all have these very rare features. I guess that means we're just getting a good premium on them. Good. Finances are on the way back up. I can't really afford to invest them into... Uh, into uh, research or anything like I would want to, but at least the the money is uh, starting to accumulate again. Cars are ba backing up way past the fit horn section now. Soon they're going to be backing up to the fit steering assembly. And it's going to take us Quite a bit of time to be able to expand out our line um, so that we can double down. I mean, the, the line itself cost a couple million dollars to set up, and we would need to double quite a number of things to be able to push through more cars. Also, the 
Doesn't seem to be enough market for us to push through more cars. Central locking. Not even. I mean, that must be car door thing, like the driver's side or the the driver's uh, door where you uh, able to lock all your doors with one flick of a switch or something. I guess that would be central locking. That makes sense. Oh, good. Up to four hundred thousand dollars. Whoa! Look at all that. Very bad drop in profitability. Um. Yeah, still a long time left on our loans. More than half, or more about three quarters still yet to pay, so. One day takes a long time. I think we're getting uh, maybe two days per episode. And that's, you know, we're running pretty much on the highest speed. So it's not like we have a lot of lag in here or anything. I guess I could come down and... What does it cost for another quality control thing? $25,000? That's pretty cheap. I don't know if that's going to make enough of a difference, but... Actually, it might not make any difference. But... Okay, good. Because it was so close to that other one. It's not going to make enough of a difference because now the export slot is going to be what's slowing us down. And I can't duplicate that at all because that requires the actual slot to, to uh, duplicate it. Um, but it'll help us get, get that backlog cleared out over time. And, um, you know, it, it, it should pay for itself anyways, the $40,000 or whatever we spent total to, to double that up and then we'll have to I don't know if we run out this space is there an export there's an export slot in there and there's another one up there I'm not sure how I'd really take advantage of that it's gonna be kind of tricky to hmm yeah because we would have to have two Yeah, and it's not like we could sneak it up past here. Huh. If we get down into here, there's three export slots. Boom, 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 right there. That's, that's, that would be real handy. Um, but we would need a considerable amount of money to be able to get down into that part. Lots of power plants over here, keeping us well in power. Oh, hey, look at that. Somehow we are moving these through faster. I don't really know how that happened. Whereas I thought, I thought the uh, fit roof was our bottleneck. But we've managed to not have that be our bottleneck anymore. All right, produce 500 cars in a single game. Doesn't seem like all that much of an accomplishment, but if you're going to give me credit for it, I'll take it. That probably opened up a new color or something. Oh, but we're going to have to find out what excitement comes next until the next episode, because this one is over. Well, guys, uh, I hope you are still having a good time. If you are, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Click that like button. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Um, let's see if we can... Uh, oh, another financial... Uh, uh, we've had $10 million in revenue. I mean, that seems great. Um, and uh, let's see if we can continue making money and maybe get ahead of ourselves because I feel like we've just been kind of kind of financially treading water this episode. Let's see if we can get ahead of ourselves a little bit. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.